Well, we have another beautiful Saturday afternoon here today with gorgeous weather and look at that downtown St. Paul skyline. And coming up right here to our left, that is where the St. Paul Saints play baseball. I don't think any game is going on right now, but it's a beautiful day for one. Well, hello there, and welcome to yet another beautiful day for an adventure. We are starting out in a parking garage in front of some video games that have seen their better days. But what's inside the walls that we are going to be entering is nothing but pure goodness. We are at a place called Can Can Wonderland. It's kind of in between Minneapolis and St. Paul, kind of over by the state fairgrounds here. And this place is amazing. I have been here before when I first started my channel and I had another channel called Tommy Travels, the second. And so that means that none of you got to see the full image of all the wonderful things that are that are here at this attraction to check out. And so, welcome to another edition of Tommy Travels. It's Tommy Travels. This should be a really fun adventure, you guys. Come on with me. Let's go see what there is to see. It looks like these were some NASCAR games at one time. You can see there's a crack up there. They're all very dusty and danger, do not touch. <laughs> so we will not be touching those. There's this thing, I'm not sure exactly what that was used for. And there's this weird contraption over here. I have no idea what any of this stuff is, but I think it's all on the way out. Hey canners, more parking for your spaceship in the upstairs outside. Thank you Mr. Space Alien. I appreciate you. I love this vintage signage that they have too. Can Can Wonderland. Looks like something straight out of the 50s. And it changes colors. That is quite mesmerizing if you ask me. And here we go, the entrance to Can Can Wonderland. Look at how huge this place is. I love the neon on the ceilings. All sorts, of, it looks like this place may have expanded since the last time I've been here. Wow, this place has changed quite a bit. This is where we came in. Look at that. They've got all sorts of video games in here and this place is huge it is ten dollars to get in and all of the video games are free there's no tokens no coins no nothing just hit start and it's ready to play oh my gosh look at this blast from the very very far distant past wow have you ever seen a two-player pinball game before Look at that, paddles over here, paddles over there. Holy cow, I was not expecting to see that. Oh my goodness, they've got the classic of all classics, Space Invaders. We definitely have to try this one. Press play, we're gonna do one player right here. This is where we fire and control. Let's see our guy, let's fire. Can move up about a decade and try centipede. The 
this was another one of my favorite games back in the day. I'm gonna hit one player. Let's see how we do here. Here's my guy. Start firing. Try to hit some of those guys up there. Oh yeah, look at that. I'm taking them out.
six times. So today's high score is 74. So I need to, oh my, we total score 27 because they managed the six out. So I didn't do very good today. They have a little castle <laughs> that you can get in and ride. A nice one for the kids. And now for a good old fashioned shoot 'em up game. Crisis zone. Just step on the pedal down here to start. Zone select. We'll select plaza.
think I have found the activity that is going to make this whole adventure worth the price of admission. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the golf ball cannon. That's right. We have ourselves a cannon. We have ourselves some golf balls, a.k.a. ammo. Pull this back. Put in the golf ball. Put it back. And then aim. And fire away. <laughs> that is awesome. Then they've got all sorts of different targets that you can shoot at. Like these hanging cowbells. Can we, can we hit one? Oh my god. Alright, let's see how we can do. Now I'm getting the hang of this. Let's see what we can hit. There I hit one. Let's go for a plate. This is great. Oh, I just missed. Whoa. Oh my God. Just go ahead and hit this button. Just go ahead and hit this button. And there they are. More ammo. All right. We have a kid hiding in the window over here. Let's see if we can hit it. Oh my gosh! <laughs> games no sorry this little batting cage a wiffle ball batting cage where you can step up to the plate and try to hit a home run let's see how he does oh swing and miss. that's okay but look at all of this goodness back here this is a mini golf course look at this Hello, sir. <laughs> Welcome to Tommy Travels. We can't actually play the mini golf today because it is a three hour wait to get in here. But this place is amazing. This is hole 15 called Grandma's Living Room. And look at the curio cases with the little kitties, all the little kitschy fun stuff that you would see in a grandma's house. Look at all of these. One of these, we all had one of those when we were kids. Christmas tree, old time clock radio. And look at this. Reminds me of the couch from Roseanne a little bit. With the TV and accordion. And look at that, ladies and gentlemen. As an ode to the largest ball of twine in Minnesota. Look what we have right there. Oh, and here's a clown picture that's not at all creepy. And look at this hole. It's got the tree up there with the water draining to the roots to water these lovely lily pads. I'm not sure exactly what the object of this hole is. There's people playing it. But this is just a whole lot of fantastic goodness right here. Here's the other side of that hole. And then here's another one. Look at all of these instruments. You can play the drums and the horn section and cymbals. It goes all the way up there. And look, they even have a piano, which is partially expo exposed. So we can go ahead and play it. 
listen to these sweet sounds. <laughs> That's right. I also do children's parties and bar mitzvahs. And of course, when there's something to ring, well, you gotta ring it, right? <laughs> that's awesome. I'm the only one that thought so, but it was awesome for me. And don't adjust your eyes. What you are actually looking at is a pink elephant. You may have been drinking, you may have not been drinking, but either way, that is there, that is indeed there in real life, a pink elephant. And if you don't like the weather in Minnesota, just wait a minute. There's probably going to be a tornado. Look at that thing go. I haven't seen anything that cool since the Wizard of Oz. And look at this. They even have a state fair hole where you shoot your golf ball up there. It gets picked up by this amazing Ferris wheel. And then look at that. They even have a skyway. I rode the sky ride this year at the Christmas thing that they do at the state fairgrounds every year. It was really fun. And did you think we were done? On the other side of the mini golf, there's this thing. The Boardwalk Electromechanical Museum. Based all on games that are not electric, but mechanical. Like this, learn how to fly a helicopter. Wow. Oh, the helicopter game does work. But there's no way I could operate it with two hands, so I'm glad this gentleman is doing it. That is awesome. Oh, look at this. They even have a boxing game. That actually does work. Oh, my God. Look at that. Wait, does your camera have eyebrows? Who's going to win? Who's going to win? Makes your fingers tired. Oh, get them. I thought neither of them were wearing pants. Come on, Marta. But I guess they are. Look at that. <laughs> Come on, who's gonna win? Are those eyebrows? <laughs> kind of. It protects the wind. In this, game. <laughs> this just goes on forever. Oh! <laughs> oh. 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 oh! And down goes Ranger. Oh, no. Down goes Ranger. <laughs> That was awesome. And look at this game. It's a shooting gallery, straight out of the 50s, with our gun here. Look at that. Trying to hit this stuff. Uh, moving guy up here. Let's see if we can hit that head. It's tough to aim. Oh my gosh, how fun is this? This is so cool. When I woke up this morning, I did not think I'd be playing a video game that is this vintage. What an awesome game. That was so fun. And then we have a really classic pinball machine called Big Deal. Look at those people in Vegas <laughs> having fun, playing the cards. And here we go. Let's see how we do. Some one-handed pinball. shaky oh my goodness and this looks like the original version of a classic table game where you press the button to start the game but this one doesn't actually start there's no ball but when you flip this lever look what happens they would be able to kick the ball everyone try to score the goal and then these guys can kick the ball <laughs> and try to score the goal and look at the goalie move like that <laughs> Amazing. And just when you think there couldn't be possibly any more to this place, there's an ice cream station and a cocktail bar. 
Look at this. And it goes way back there to a big screen TV where if there was a Vikings game or Twins game on or a concert to watch, you could see it right there. And after an amazing day with all the video games, it's time to top it off with the Chicago style hot dogs, some tater tots with cheese sauce, and an awesome malt. That's a chocolate chip mint topped with Cocoa Puffs of all things. <laughs> this is gonna be great. And so here we go, a Chicago style dog. We're gonna give it a try. We've never had a Chicago dog in Tommy Travel's history, so this is a first. They say a good hot dog has that snap to it, and this one definitely does. This place would be worth coming for just for this. And now we're going to give a tater tot a try. It looks crispy. It's got some cheese on it. That is right on point. Let's just take a drink of our shake real quick. like to end these things on a water feature and this one is amazing <laughs> look at that and then you have to put your ball underneath the waterfall there that is pretty cool if you guys like what you saw here today from can can wonderland please go ahead and hit subscribe on my youtube channel hit like do all those fun things thank you all so much for all of the support that you've given me so far and until next time i hope to catch you on the flip side